Here we are once again. Project Ghetto. Getting the engine bay cleaned out. Getting it ready for a new heartbeat. I'm gonna strip the harness down, see if we can get the interior cleaned out, wash it, do all that. Make it pretty. Make it real pretty. Yeah. As pretty as a don't can be. Yep. <laughs> Gotta look good out running them Hellcats. Yeah. Yeah, boy. This don't's just for you, LD. Yep, just for you. <laughs> Let's see if we can get to work. You got to that done. Yeah, I'm gonna. Coming along nice. Look at that. Brand new with a little bit of stain. A little bit of TLC. Yeah, buddy. We'll see if we can get this AC box out of here. Got them slicks on that bad boy. Oh, there's plenty of room. Oh, yeah, we're good. <coughs> oh, man, we got like two inches right there. Inch and a half. We can put a big tire on that thing. Yeah. Look at that. Can you imagine what people's going to think when they see this thing <laughs> coming down? <laughs> uh, that Caprice got slicks on it? <laughs> 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 Let's have a pause in it. No. You want to put a mini spool? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Buy a mini spool. <laughs> we can get that. We'll do the mini spool and that plate. We're going here in order here in a second. Right. Yeah, let's throw both of them on. Yeah, let's throw both of them on. Yeah. The most part. They'll stay up for a good week or two when they start going down. So that's better than what we had. Yeah, they won't stay up for now. Yeah. Yeah, I 
about to have a proud boy over here. Get the center They always keep it on cool hubs. <laughs> yeah. You take the front one off too, that's the only one on the Twice as dry rotted as that and it holds there. <laughs> that makes sense. Got broke belts in it. You see broke belts. There. There you go. Yeah, I'll mark you other kind of crazy. And they fit on the same boat pattern. Uh -huh. They'll fit that and they'll fit a Ford Mustang. The Ranger. Don't you Mopar guys know I put these slicks on this heavy Chevy son them Mopars was already high. Look at that. That's pretty good. This hits good. This swallow a bit more. Would you just look at it? Got brand new slicks on it. Only 10 years old. Ready for the track. I ain't gonna pop make that den out through the door. Yeah, take a door panel off, it'd probably come out. It don't yeah. look bad. We're getting there now. We got it cleaned up. Well, Sam got it cleaned up. Got the AC box out. Wire and harness stripped down. Pressure washed it. We're ready to go. Wigs on it. Shoot. How you feel? I feel, feel fantastic. Sam. Yeah. I feel like I'm running my Hellcat already. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Old that. C10's ready to go. either one. Belvedere either one. <laughs> Oh, 65 Mopar coming for you. Mopar getting out run by a big Mopar. Let's look in here see what we got. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Full on race mode. Breaking mint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right there, boys and girls. That's a champion. Ready to go. <laughs> we want to tell you guys thanks for watching Project Ghetto, old heavy Chevy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hopefully we can help you all out in doing your own build at home. Yep, budget friendly builds. Budget friendly. This Main video. thing is, don't order the wrong cam. Yep. Don't do like Sam. Get a small box Chevy cam for an LS. It does don't not work. It will not work. The will distributor work. gear does get in the way. Yeah. That <laughs> and the cam journals are too big on an LS. So.
We got that. We got old Project Ghetto going, cleaned up. Set of slicks on her. Interior's cleaned out. Them Dude. body lines. Yeah, look at Dude. that. Man, look at that. <laughs> Sharp. Well, everybody, thanks for watching this video. Brought to you by YooHoo. Please sponsor us. We're desperate. Thank you. See you next time.